Toby the Tram Engine is a fictional anthropomorphic tram engine in the railway series by the Reverend Wilbert Vere Audrey and his son, Christopher. He also appears in the spin off television series Thomas and Friends. Toby, a tram engine with cowcatchers and sideplates, carries the North Western Railway running No. 7 and works on the same Farquhar branch line as Thomas the Tank Engine. Toby first appeared in the seventh book in the railway series, Toby the Tram Engine in 1952, and appeared in several subsequent books. The second book focused on Toby was the sixth of Christopher Audrey's books, Toby, Trucks and Trouble. Topic. Prototype and backstory Toby is based on a J-70 tram engine from the Great Eastern Railway class C His cowcatchers and sideplates allow him to run on roadside tramways, which other engines are not allowed to do for safety reasons. J-70s were used for light duties, such as branch line work and dock shunting. Many J-70s could be found working on the Wisbeach and Upwell Tramway in East Anglia only 28 miles 46 km from Rev. W. Audrey's parish at Ellsworth in Cambridgeshire in the same diocese. Rev. W. Audrey wrote about Toby the tram engine in 1952, shortly before he was transferred to Emnath Parish. The tramway ran from Wisbeach, through Emnath, the next station on the line, then through Outwell and Upwell. This area and its line was well known to Rev. W. Audrey who often visited Ely nearby. The tramway was primarily used for the transportation of fruit and other farm produce to the main line at Wisbeach. The line closed to passengers in 1927, but freight services continued until lorries and road transport boomed in the 1950s. In 1952, the steam tram engines were replaced by diesel Drury shunters, the BR Class 04. Inspiration for Toby came from the Audreys watching a J-70 probably 68,221, one of three J-70s built in 1914 as GER 127 at Great Yarmouth in 1951. Further inspiration was drawn soon after when the Rev. Teddy Boston, then curate at Wisbeach, arranged for Audrey to ride on the footplate of one of the last surviving steam tram engines on the tramway. Fascinated by the unusual engines, Audrey sought a way to incorporate them in the stories. Research by Audrey's brother, George, revealed that tramway regulations required the fitting of cowcatchers and sideplates for railway locomotives running on tracks alongside roads, and the story, Thomas in Trouble. Published in 1952, the year steam trams were replaced evolved to provide a reason for Toby being summoned to Sodor. The story includes a description of Toby's final journeys on the line. People come to see Toby, but they come by bus. The months passed. Toby had few trucks, and fewer passengers. That day, Toby's last, Henrietta had more passengers than she could manage. They rode in the trucks and crowded in the brake van. This was a common occurrence during the closing of real railway lines. Demand decreased to an unprofitable amount, but services were often full for the last workings of steam. On Audrey's model railway, Toby was represented by a Y6, an O, 4, O locomotive similar to but smaller than the J70 and better suited to the four wheel motor bogey available to power the model. In 1961, Audrey wrote an article for Railway Modeler magazine on the construction of this locomotive. Christopher Audrey has said that Toby is his favorite character, partly because he was there when his father received the inspiration to create him, but also because as a child he had traveled in the cab of two J-70s. Rev. W. Audrey served as parish priest in two parishes in Cambridgeshire, the county associated with Toby the tram engine. First, he was rector of Ellsworth with Knapwell from 1946 to 1953, then he was vicar of Emnath from 1953 until 1965 when he retired from full-time ministry and moved to Stroud, Gloucestershire. <laughs> Toby in the Railway Series Toby is introduced in the seventh book in the Railway Series. The first story, Toby and the Stout Gentleman, describes the closure of Toby's branch line due to the lack of passengers and freight. Shortly before the line was to close, a stout gentleman arrived on a holiday with his family. The children rode on Toby every day for a fortnight and the stout gentleman gave Toby's crew a present. 
The day after the tramway closed, ironically after an overcrowded final journey by Toby and Henrietta, a letter arrived from the stout gentleman which was to give Toby a reprieve, in Thomas in Trouble. Thomas encounters an officious policeman, who says that, when running from the quarry, along public roads, engines who have the right to go on public roads must be fitted with cowcatchers and side plates for safety to prevent people and animals from getting killed if they should have the right to stray onto the line. The fat controller, urgently needing to rectify this, is discussing the fitting of these, when Thomas remarks that, Everyone will laugh. They'll say I look like a tram. The fat controller, the stout gentleman, remembered Toby immediately and arranged for him to come to Sodor. Toby arrives with his coach, Henrietta, and became a friend of Thomas after Toby rings his bell and frightens the policeman, in dirty objects. James makes fun of Toby's shabby appearance. James later has an accident with tar wagons. Toby and Percy help to clear up the mess and Toby is rewarded with a new coat of paint. His chosen livery of chocolate brown with blue side plates replicates that which he would have worn on the gur. Toby suffers from having small water tanks, meaning he is unsuitable for long distance work. In double header. In the eight famous engines, Toby uses the main line to travel to the works for servicing. He has stopped at a water crane to refill his tanks, when he is urged on to the next station by a new signalman who didn't understand Toby's condition. Toby tries to hurry to the next station, but uses up the water and runs out of steam, ending up marooned on the main line far from the station. Toby is pushed by James to the station, where some boys misunderstand the situation and suggest that James was unable to pull the express, and Toby was needed to double head the train. Toby is also associated with the coach Victoria, who forms the vintage train with Henrietta that takes workers to and from the quarry. <laughs> Toby in the television series He appeared in the first season of the TV show and is considered to be one of the central characters. Toby has his own song, of the same name, which is based upon his theme composed by Mike O'Donnell and Junior Campbell. Toby was originally depicted as a wise, brave and kind old engine, often giving advice to younger engines like Thomas and Percy. Due to this Toby had almost never got into trouble with the fat controller. In recent seasons, Toby has been feeling more insecure with the world around him as he is an old engine, and is not on the same page as the younger engines, like Percy, who feel more rough and ready. Toby was dropped from the main cast in the 22nd season as part of the attempt to bring the steam team's gender balance to a near 50-50 split. <laughs> Topic. Voice actors. Colum Fior, Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Ben Small, UK, Hero of the Rails, season 18. Rob Rackstraw, UK, season 19 onwards. William Hope, US, Hero of the Rails onwards. Yasuhiko Kawazu, Japan, season 1 to 8. Tomohiro Suboy, Japan, season 9 onwards. Topic Toby in Thomas and the Magic Railroad In the film, Toby is first seen reminding the other engines that they must not let Diesel 10 push them around. Later, after Diesel 10 overhears Thomas and Percy's conversation about how Mr. Conductor travels to Sodor, Toby manages to stall Diesel 10 ringing his bell. Diesel 10 tries to attack Toby with his claw, but instead fails and brings a shed down by himself as well as his cronies. Colm Fior provided the voice of Toby in the film. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Henrietta. Henrietta is Toby's faithful coach, based on the Wisbeach and Upwell Tramway non-articulated Gur four-wheeled coach. She worked with Toby on their old railway, and when that line closed Toby could not bear to leave her behind. The station master had wanted to turn her into a henhouse, but the fat controller agreed that, that would never do. The two are inseparable, and whenever they are apart they worry about each other. Toby had wanted to take Henrietta, but the fat controller had said, no.
He wondered if Henrietta was lonely. Percy had promised to look after her, but Toby couldn't help worrying. Percy doesn't understand her like I do, he said. Henrietta carries passengers and is used to bring quarry workers to and from work. In the Fat Controller's Engines, the eight famous engines, she is used as the Fat Controller's private coach when the locomotives take a trip to the other railway. Henrietta was the only named character not to be illustrated with a face in the railway series until Book 41 of the series, Thomas and Victoria. In this book, Henrietta is depicted with a small rectangular face where a window on the end doors would be. It was the same color as her cabin, like the other coaches. She even didn't have a visible face in the television series until the 18th season. Her face in this series is larger than in the railway series, and it completely replaces the door on one end, as well as the immediately adjoining window on both sides. The face is also whitish-gray as are those of the engines and much of the rolling stock, as opposed to the same brown as her paintwork as she appears in the book. Voice actors Maggie Olerenshaw season 18 onwards Yumi Nakatani Japan season 1 only Keiko Nimoto Japan season 18 onwards Topic Elsie Toby also has a baggage car named Elsie, mentioned in the island of Sodor, its people, history and railways and the 1979 Thomas the Tank Engine Annual. However, she has not yet appeared in any stories. According to the Rev. W. Audrey, she is based upon a Wisbeach and Upwell tramway luggage van and shares a shed with Henrietta. <laughs> Heritage Railways. There are no surviving J-70 trams, a replica, based at the East Anglian Railway Museum, is a diesel hydraulic O-4 O shunter with a metal casing over it. When this diesel was converted a replica Henrietta was built from scratch. The underframe was taken from an old box van, but the body was a complete new build. Toby and Henrietta can be seen running on the museum's day out with Thomas events. A project to build a steam-powered replica of a GER class G15 Wisbeach and Upwell tram based on a Belgian Cockerel O4 O tram engine has been underway for some time at the Nene Valley Railway. Named Toby. Work on the project stalled following the deaths of the tram's owners, but the project was sold in January 2011 with a view to recommencing work on the replica, a project to build a J70 replica to resemble a tram engine based on the Wisbeach and Upwell tram railways. Toby the Tram Engine is underway at Mangaps Railway Museum near Burnham on Crouch in Essex. The engine is a Drury, Vulcan industrial diesel locomotive 11,104, not based on the character. The Karelaret Forestry Railway built a diesel railcar in 2010. Because of its rather rectangular shape and the wooden sheathing very similar to that of Toby the Tram Engine the railcar is nicknamed Toby, or with a Hungarian spelling, Toby equals equals notes <laughs>